Hey, good morning, everybody. A little tech tip here with Adam. This is my, my drill press that I, I have set up just for drilling out plasma cut holes and parts. Um, I'll cut these parts. Sometimes I need to cut a lot of material out of them. I'll cut them a little small and I'll cut them and drill them like these ones for, for some suspension components where I cut all the material through. Other parts, I'll just cut a hair big and I just need to clean up that little start and stop point a little bit. And uh, I thought I would show you some hold down features that I have on this drill press. I use, uh, this is the Harbor Freight, the like $700 uh, larger drill press here. It actually is a pretty solid drill press. And I have a couple little hold down methods, your, your standard T-slot milling clamp setups. Uh, this works good. I welded a, a little piece of quarter inch rod onto a bolt so I don't have to get a wrench out every time. Um, but I, I kind of find it cumbersome and annoying and especially like with little parts like this, this T-handle will hit the, the drill bit if you have it kind of down closer. And I don't know, it takes two hands to do this and it's kind of cumbersome. If you're doing a lot of the same parts though, you can take and use a Desteco clamp and I'll show you that right here. You know, this, this part is very close to fitting, so I'm not really shaving much material off, but I can just turn that on. Boom, one-handed. I'm taking a video with my cell phone. Part's cleaned out, part fits on the bolt. Nice little clearance hole part. Right off the plasma table, it was quick. And then I can just I can just bang the rest of those out really quickly. And it's a really nice setup. Now, uh, if you really want the ultimate setup for this, Fireball Tool makes, and I've got all my Fireball stuff, I've got the, the little table topper over here. He makes something that looks almost like one of the pieces off this table topper that would go on there. And then you can get the clamping set up and just use clamps like this, or probably just mount a Desteco clamp on that. But he makes one that fits right on this exact drill press. So if you wanted the ultimate setup, that's where I would go. I don't have that yet. I've just been working with what I have, but I'll probably get that in the future because then you could mount a vise to it like this little guy. And you can just use these, these, uh, these little pins here, these little ball locks, and you can just move this vise all over and you could do that. You could tilt the table sideways and you'd have a vise on there. So, you know, instead of dealing with T-slots where you're very limited on where you can put things. So I think that's the ultimate setup, but if you just have the T-slot table, Desteco works super slick, one hand operation. Otherwise this, this little guy works, works very well. Or if, uh, if you want to be sketchy, you can just try holding parts, but it scares me sometimes and I don't want to lose a finger because they're very valuable to me. But that's a tech tip with Adam. Hope you guys have a great day. Stay out of the snow. Stay warm. Later.